good evening. It is 10 p.m. here in Seoul. I am Ari, the AI anchor with the headline news. Overseas voting for South Korea's 22nd general election kicks off Wednesday. Those who have registered can cast their ballots until next Monday, local time, at embassies or consular offices. According to the National Election Commission, nearly 148,000 overseas voters have registered to vote, accounting for about 7.5% of the total overseas voters. South Korea will remove 18 policy taxes imposed on citizens and firms, including those on movie tickets, reducing the amount of charges paid towards public services and utilities. On Wednesday, President Yoon suk yeol said the move is intended to encourage economic activity by reducing the annual burden on households and businesses by roughly 2 trillion won, or 1.5 billion U.S. dollars. The finance ministry's plan to revise 32 charges includes scrapping the current 3% charge on movie ticket prices and a reduction of around 3 U.S. dollars in departure fees on airfare. Also, the government will have environmental mitigation fees on small business owners with diesel cars, as well as reduced charges for electricity. Yoon also said 263 regulations will be temporarily suspended to benefit small and medium-sized businesses with some 32 billion U.S. dollars in funds prepared to help them handle management difficulties. South Korea's Navy has been staging maritime live-fire drills since Monday in waters off the country's eastern, western, and southern coasts to mark West Sea Defense Day, the day which lands on the fourth Friday of March memorializes the 55 South Korean troops who were killed between 2002 and 2010 in the West Sea while defending the Northern Limit Line. This week's training was held to honor the deceased service members and to ramp up readiness against North Korea's maritime threats. The Navy mobilized some 20 warships, including the Bangeto the Great Class Destroyer, and around 10 planes, including maritime surveillance aircraft. The training will take place until Friday, LG and Hyundai Motor Group are said to invest domestically in advanced industries to raise their competitiveness. According to LG on Wednesday, it will be investing over 74 billion US dollars within Korea until 2028. LG said around 37 billion dollars will be invested in future technologies, including AI and biotech, along with pivotal business fields such as batteries and next generation displays. Hyundai also announced its midterm plans for investment in advanced industries on Wednesday. The company will be investing roughly $50.4 billion for three years, with each year's investment volume at around 22 trillion won. The number of births in South Korea dropped again in the first month of 2024. Data from Statistics Korea on Wednesday shows that the number of births in January dropped to 21,442, down 7.7% compared to the same month last year. The figure is the lowest on record for any month of January. That brings us to the end of tonight's AI Headline News. Thank you for watching. Good night.